We've done a lot of joking around about extractors. We've called them weapons of choice to have in a knife fight or harpoons for whales, but the truth of the matter is it's always nice to have one of these inside of your kit because sooner or later you're going to face one of these broken keys. Now you might ask, well, how does that happen exactly? How does someone break their key? And, you know, while I can't speak for everyone, I can give you an example of, well, from my own experience. And here's the scenario. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning and you hear some screaming, you know, after you wake up, you walk over, you open them, look through the blind, and there's a girlfriend in the front yard with about six of her mean friends. And she's screaming up at the house, get your butt down here, I'm going to kick your butt in front of the whole neighborhood. And so, being the man that I am, I usually put on my iPod, turn the rap music up really loud, and I get under the bed and crawl up in the fetal position, and I wait for morning, just praying that she'll go away. But inevitably, when I open the door, there she is unconscious, and what happened is during the night she got up, realized that she had a key that she'd stolen from me, and she put it into the, the uh, keyway, and then right as she almost got inserted, she passed out and hit her forehead right on that and broke it off, leaving that tip stuck, just hanging out a little bit. And then later she woke up and the only valuable thing she had remaining in her purse after a long night of drinking was a popsicle stick. And then she commences to shove in that key uh, tip all the way inside of the keyway, leaving me with quite a mess. Well, anyway, that's my problem. And before we talk about facing broken keys anymore, let's go ahead and talk about another problem that I had. And that was figuring out who was the winner for this PXS-17 South Ord kit. Beautiful kit. We reviewed this last time. And the reason I had so much trouble, if you recall, is I asked that you include the word Egypt in your comment. And <laughs> believe it or not, Spencer, you are incredibly lucky. You are not the first choice or even the fifth choice. It took me six tries to find someone with the word Egypt. And actually, Spencer, it says Egyptian, but Egypt is part of that. So I wanted to give you full credit. Otherwise, I'm going to be up all night hitting that random select button. So if you'll get your, if you'll PM your address to me, I will get this in the mail to you very quickly. All right, let's talk about broken keys. Uh, usually when they break, uh, typically they get weak and the, the person doesn't pay attention to it. They see it cracking and they really don't care until it actually breaks. And usually that's either when they're inserting or trying to extract the key from the keyway. It'll break off usually deep inside of it. So let's go ahead. I've got uh, a lock. Uh, I've got two kits to demonstrate. I've got a couple of locks clamped up. Let me go ahead and uh, center the camera and I'll demonstrate first the Peterson Sawtooth. This one is um, government steel, some type of stainless steel. Call it the Sawtooth. Very sharp end and it has multiple barbs with which to snag that, uh, that soft piece of key. Most keys are made out of brass, even when they're chromed like this, if you look closely the chrome is wearing off and the, and the brass is soft underneath and these readily snag into that when you put some pressure on them. So let me go ahead and do that. The second, uh, by the way, this is a $17 tool and just a tip. Like I said, this is government steel. You can get the exact same tool made out of spring steel for $10 and I found that it works just as well. The second kit I'm going to talk about is the Southward KE7. It's a selection of tips and let me show you what these tips look like. Give you a close look there. You see we have double tips, single tips, some of them are slightly offset. And a kit like this sells for $24.95 and uh, it's made out of spring steel. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, clamp up and we'll get started first with the, the Government Steel uh, Peterson Sawtooth. Alright, the first one we're going to try is the Peterson Sawtooth. This is typical of a broken tip of a key. And what we're going to try to do is take that Peterson Sawtooth, we're going to attack it from the top and we're going to slide it into the keyway and hopefully snag, get my depth perception going here, snag that tooth and then pull that piece of key right back out. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to shove it in as far as I can with my finger and then I'm going to take the key and shove it all the way in. Now if this ever happens to you, remember the key will still work, but more often than not the person that did it pulls it out, sees the broken key and says dang and they throw that in the nearest canal. So then you show up with your Peterson tool, and then all we need to do is work it to the rear. And you're going to have to use the tip of that uh, extractor to push those upper pins out of your way, because there's no key holding them up there now. And work it to the rear. Once you've got it all the way to the rear, lever down to dig those barbs into the soft part of that metal, and slide that key right out. That's how easy it works with the Peterson sawtooth extractor. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, get another lock, and we'll look take a look at the KE7. Okay, this is a little Defiant 5-pinner. It is a quick set clone. Again, tip of a key. We're going to slide that in there, and then use the key to shove it all the way to the back, just as far and deep as we can get it. Okay, won't be needing that. Now we get a choice. When we take a look at this kit, uh, you have a variety of thing of uh, picks or extractors to choose from. You get some doubles, some triples. Some of these are offset if you need to lever it if you have a very warded lock. And I like to, let's just try this one right here. And it's kind of slim, so I can go in from the top, single barb, and I can lever it and hopefully snag that key. Again, I'm going to have to move the pins out of my way with the, with the extractor. Once it's all the way to the rear, lever it down, and then hopefully extract the key out of there. And you see how it grabs right on that tooth? That's ideally uh, what you want it to do. So they are absolutely great kits. All right, those are the two extractors, the Southord KU7 and the Peterson Sawtooth Extractor. All right, guys, you want a chance to win these? All you need to do is send the secret word in a comment to me and, uh, in the next 24 hours, and I will randomly draw someone, hopefully the first time, with the secret word, and uh, you'll be the proud winner of this. All right, let me give you guys an update on uh, what's happened. Um, several fan fundings had come in, and you got me up to 97% reimbursed, and so that was a couple of days ago. I felt so good about it, I went shopping, and I picked up a lot of things you guys asked for. Uh, I went to Southern Specialties, and I bought the three kits that you suggested. Uh, there were 53 or 54 people that asked for those. I also went to Sarah Pick. More than 100 people asked for these three different things, the Titanium Bogota set, the Executive Escape Kit, and the uh, Bogota Pie Tool Set, and I believe that is titanium. And the last thing, I, um, there were a bunch of people that asked for the H&H 30-piece kit. Uh, I could not find it listed as H&H. Again, it was that Ed Ching name, but that is the H&H because one of you sent this link to me saying, indeed, that's the H&H. So while I was at 97%, back to 83 but this fan funding actually seems to be working. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. <laughs>